All right, guys, so welcome back to another reaction today. We're watching some Bubble Line 5, and we're going to Season 3, Episode 3, titled A Day in the Strife. So, a day in the strife, like a day in the life. So, a strife? What? Who? A day in the strife? So, just another day on Bubble Line 5? Just chaos, maybe? I don't know. Is it going to refer to Jakar? Strife? I don't know why I get that impression. Um, maybe there's something to kick off on Bubble Line 5. I don't actually know what that word means, strife. I've heard of it before. So, what I'm going to do right now is define strife. Angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental fundamental issues. I cannot speak. Okay, so that's interesting. Fundamental issues. Disagreement. So, a day in the strife. That's just practically Babylon 5, isn't it? But maybe it's to do with Jakar and Londo, even though the non war is over. So, Jakar has no kind of um, area to disagree because if he disagrees or if he protests against Londo, like... Thousands of Nards will be killed, hundreds of Nards will be killed. And we had that scene last episode, didn't we? In the elevator. Guys, that scene is probably one of my favourite scenes throughout this entire show. I don't even say that lightly. Like, that entire scene was so good. With Londo and Jakar. And Jakar... <laughs> that was so funny. Jakar was like, well, I can't kill you because you made it perfectly clear that if I kill you... You will kill 500 Nards. But I can watch you die and that is the greatest pleasure. And... Like, Londo was calling Jakar, like, crazy, an idiot, basically. And, um, Jakar was just laughing. And <laughs> Londo was saying, we're here, we're here. And then Jakar was like, we're here, we're here. Oh, it was so funny. That scene was amazing. And, um, ah, oh, what? There was something else really comedic. He said something else as well. Can anybody, yeah, cause he said, Londo said, can anybody hear me? And <laughs> Jakar said, I hear you. And then, he, and then he just started laughing. I was dying of laughter, man. That scene was so funny. Oh my god. And that just shows why the Jakar and Londo dynamic is like one of the best things about the show. Obviously, it's got really, really bad now and dark, I guess, between the non Centauris, Jakar and Londo. But still, that fundamental relationship is still there. And it's brilliant to watch. It's so good. The dynamic, the chemistry between those two, it's just amazing, isn't it? I love it so much, man. And last episode was really. Showing why Londo and Jakar are great characters. I love that scene so damn much. It was brilliant. Um, but yeah, what else did we have last episode? Yeah, it was the bomber, wasn't it? Bomber, Sheridan, um, the guy threatening to blow up literally the entire station and failing to, um, thankfully, and just causing chaos basically for no reason because, um, what was it, like his wife died or something? I can't remember, but he, he had like a whole sub story and then he wanted to just go terrorized Babylon 5 so yeah he had to be stopped and he was stopped thankfully um thanks to Garibaldi's really ingenious plans to stick a what's called the uh, com up his ass <laughs> oh no but put the com like he must have put it up his ass or down his trousers or down his pants or something but when I got the impression I thought he meant pull up his ass but I don't think that would have been uh, Babylon 5, fa family friendly, <laughs> but no, it's most likely just put, put it down his pants, right? Uh, oh, to the Americans, that'll mean, oh, here we go, it's trousers, pants to us mean pants, as in underwear, but to Americans, it's jeans, so, oh, okay, this is just confusing me, I don't know what the equivalent is for Americans for underwear, but yeah, I'm guessing he put it down there, or just put it down his trousers, but how would that have worked? Uh, uh, okay, I don't know. So if you pull it down his trousers, then it would have fell out. So, I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to have a discussion about that. We're going to move on. But your last episode was like, it was just an average episode. Nothing too good. Actually, yeah, it was kind of just like a filler episode. It was interesting. And the Jakarta and London scenes really made the episode much better. Like, I love that. Um, but apart from that, like, it wasn't too amazing. Yeah, I cannot wait to see where Season 3 is going to go. I really cannot wait to get to the good episodes of Season 3. Because I have a feeling they're going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to unravel this story further. See what's going to happen. And, um, yeah. And have everyone watching join me on this amazing journey. I want to thank everyone for their support on Patreon and on YouTube. Um, the support on YouTube has been incredible. Especially in the shadow of Zaha Doom. Zaha Dom, Zaha Doom. Uh, I think it's Zaha Doom. I've been getting loads of angry comments about that. <laughs> Saying, how does he mispronounce it every single time in the opening credits? It always says, oh, well, not the opening credits, but they need to pronounce it right every single time. And yet, this guy 
pronounces it wrong. Um, I think I'm going to keep pronouncing it wrong just because it's funny. So because of that, I'm going to keep pronouncing it wrong. So I'm awfully sorry, but that is what's going to be happening. So yeah, I can't wait to learn more about Zaha Doom. Oh, I said it right. I cannot wait to learn more about Zaha Doom. And um, yeah, to see more about the shadows that align that the Centauri, well, Mr. Morden drew. That planet, Epsilon 7. Are we going to see that again? Babylon 4. Zagreth the 1. Sinclair, is he going to fly in on his Vorlon machine? Like, I don't know, maybe. We just got out to see, I guess. But I really want more to do with Babylon 4. I hope that comes back up. Because we had the episode, didn't we? In, like, episode 17 of season 2. Like, Knives. We had that kind of mention of Babylon 4 again. So maybe it will come up. But if not, just the shadows, the relationships between Centauris and Narns, Centauris and the rest of the races, the Vorlons. Um... Yeah, just everything. I can't wait to, to see more about the show, to, to see more about where the story's to go. And uh, yeah, just to watch it. So without further ado, this has been Babylon 5, Season 3, Episode 3, titled um, A Day in the Strife. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Babylon 5, Season 3, Episode 3, titled A Day in the Strife. We've instituted new policies to screen for weapons. Uh -oh. It's slowing down processing. Captain's meeting with the Transport Association now to work it out. Sure oh, a day in the strife, yeah. Please, uh oh. <laughs> we have some this is chaos. Order on Babylon 5? Think again. Project delays of no more than 10 to 15 percent. <laughs> Look, we can strife. get that delay down to 5 percent if we put on more inspectors. But that's going to raise your docking fees. <laughs> the hell with the money! We know why you're really doing this. They want to control all the weapons so they can push us around, intimidate us. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be enough. That's the real reason you don't want guns around here, because you're a damn coward. And without a gun to back you up, you got nothing. I'd think again. You got the gun. All I've got is what I've, I've got. got. <laughs> I drop you and your guards will kill me. Maybe. Maybe not. Hell, anything happens to me, everyone gets an instant promotion. Go ahead, go for it. I'll wait for you. Look. I was just talking. I didn't mean nothing. Commander Ivanova, you've been going at this all day. I recommend we adjourn till tomorrow. Cooler heads. With all due respect, that was great, A stupid. I mean, what if the guy would have gone for it? I mean, what if he would just would have blown your brains all over the place? I mean, what if he probably had no ammo or something? Energy cap. I palmed it when I shoved the gun in his pocket. Okay, okay. Next time I'll give him a live gun. You really do want that promotion? Don't next you? time you're gonna. Captain Sheridan. <laughs> Council in the far. I've just arrived and wanted to check in with you. I'm here to replace Citizen Jakar. What? That's the definitely Londo's doing then, isn't it? Is but in the year of the Shadow War, it became something greater. I'm still fascinated by this intro. Our last best hope. And now, we've got the lineup. It's just so cool, man. It really is. I'm gonna be saying this every single episode, but it just really feels like there's so much at stake, and yeah, it's just ah, uh, there's a certain word for it. The music is amazing as well, really. Uh, what is the word? There's a certain word for it, but I can't think. Citizen Jakar is the only member of the Kari still free. We've given him sanctuary. He can remain here as long as he wants. Yes. But unfortunately, he remains in a position of authority with our people here. The Centauri believe he is using his influence to create an armed resistance back home. For every one of them we kill, they kill 500. 500. Of us. That's ridiculous. We must cool things down. The time for action will come later. The provisional government has authorized me to take charge of the local non-population. 
and to ask for your assistance in returning Citizen Jakar. I'm sorry, Nafar. I don't think so. I have to deny your request. I won't interfere in Narn internal affairs, and I won't make Jakar go anywhere he doesn't want to go. You two will have to work that out between you. It's such a weird kind of position to be in, that guy, isn't it? So on one hand, he actually agrees with Jakar, but he has to stop so it because Jakar if he doesn't, more will much die. Much and he also respects Sheridan for denying that request, not. whilst well, also so not being happy. It's a weird, look, a weird position. Into the nearest transport tube. Subtle. Very Except later on, you haven't seen this scene in a while. Is a major Bakiri death symbol. So now he's putting his affairs in order and pressing charges, saying that I threatened him, his family, and his water clan. Whatever the hell. Go on, ask her to dance already. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Come on, Michael, I'm Bush. So it'll be a quick dance. Hey, Commander, there you are. I tied up in a meeting with the captain and a new rep from Narn. <laughs> oh, you look whacked. Yeah, 20 hours without a break, usual. How's the captain? He just looks tired. Well, I was telling Michael, he seems a lot more, I don't know, hard ass lately. Well, with everything that's going on, who wouldn't be? When the captain first got here, he just tried to fit in. Now he's trying to make this place more like what he's used to. Right now, we need a good soldier a hell of a lot more than a diplomat. Yeah, well. True. And Sheridan and right Stephanie, now, that. What I need to do is you. What about Dr. Morales? Well, she's in Med 3 in heavy isolation. I can't leave until she's gone through decontamination. All right, when you need me. Two hours. I'll be there. Never slows Good down man, but voice, no, does it? it's not fair. Don't you need some rest, this guy. Right Franklin, you got a rest, man. 20 hours, no break, and you're going to take another shift. Hey. God damn. Let me tell you, I through the captain's personnel file. You what? Michael, that information is strictly off limits. I did it when he first came aboard. I like to know who I'm dealing with and who knew he'd turn out to be okay, huh? Right now, according to his file, Sheridan's a good tactical thinker. He can take an inferior defensive force and turn it into an offensive force capable of taking on a better equipped enemy. Now, he did it with the Black Star. He did it during the Mars wow. riots. Now, you ask me, he's the one chance we've got to make it through this thing alive. Maybe. Did you look through my file? That's awesome. Monday? Come in. That information is strictly off limits. <laughs> Definitely dead. Okay. That's so interesting though, so it makes it into an inferior into right, I've got two hours before I have to standing I'm chance. Superior. That That's amazing. After all, so you watch my back, Michael. I'm going with that. <laughs> I guess, yeah, Frank can go ahead, man. He deserves a break. Oh, damn. That's fascinating stuff, though, what everybody just said After about Sheridan, because that's true. To you. Prior he will to make the Babylon 5 directly. superior our top I now proceed. Construction gangs are all operating at capacity. Hmm. Just, ah, oh, man. And the Just eagle dictator. The executions continue. The executions continue. Progress. It's a beautiful thing to behold, Novir. Mm, you may really. contact Shikar now. Go, go. I can't believe Londo acts that way. It's just like Is necessary. So we evil. Their man. place once. We must make sure it doesn't happen again. Londo, we've beaten them. Their cities are in ashes. Their military is wiped out. They've lost hundreds of thousands of lives. They have nothing left. No, there you are. As long as it remains, they will always be a threat. Like so Jakar is said, about pride. Might take a thousand it's years, but that we've beaten them. We, we have win. to break them. Yes. I'm sorry, I thought you understood that. I don't want our people to go through this again in another hundred years. It is the way things are done, Veer. Nothing personal. Yeah, tyrant. We've been monitoring it for the past hour, Captain. Ever since it entered Babylon 5 space. Distance. Why is that? It's a little over 5,000 clicks. 
We sent a security bot to check it out. Should be in range by now. Signature and configuration. It's like nothing we've seen before. Looks like we've got a first contact situation, Captain. Okay. Warlock? Let's go with the Vorlons. Looks Alien like Vorlon time. to relative stop, Captain. No life signs present. Weapons? None that I can tell. Must be a science probe of some kind. I'm getting a signal. A recording. Anything you recognize? Gosh. Let's go with the Vorlons. Negative. Just the same pattern of signals repeated over and over. Probably sending us their alphabet and language codes. How long before the system decodes it? It's pretty complex, sir. At least two, three hours. Maybe more. And I know that things have been somewhat difficult between us for some time. Well, to argue with you, not now. From time to time in the past, I have helped you. Hmm? And in return, you said that if I ever needed a favor, I had only to ask. Now oh I am God. asking. That's what is this going to be? Don't worry. It is not for myself, not for the Centauri. The Centauri diplomatic mission to your homeworld has been closed for, what, several years now. Some trouble, I understand, with our last envoy. I think that the Veer would be the perfect replacement. Rude. What you ask is not impossible. What, well, she wants to get Veer like away? I know why this particular favor. After the absolute way that I have she some concerns said about his development, his career, it would be a good move for him. Thank you. And now the truth. <laughs> yeah. The land ain't falling for your bullshit, Londo. Did you know that? Over the last two years, to my considerable surprise, I have become very fond of Veer. Sometimes. No, I don't need anyone. He is an Here inconvenience goes. to me. The rest of his Blight, humanity is lost. A pot, a stone around my neck. Here, I give him to you. I will see what I can do. Perhaps the mission has been empty too long. Good. Well, I must be going. Thank you for seeing me, Delaney. No problem. Sometimes I miss that we don't talk anymore, Delaney. We never really talked, Londo. No, I suppose not. Definitely not so anymore. So why the sudden invitation to dinner? Well, I can't make a little extra pasta, some cannoli. I have to have an agenda. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You're a hard man, yeah. Stephen. Now sit, eat, huh? All right. Before it gets cold. Thank you. Looks nice. Ah, oh, don't make me hungry. Just thinking, you know, <laughs> we're a lot alike in some ways. We're both professionals. That is way too much. We make everybody under us pasta crazy. Pasta for the amount but of sauce. But we're both good at what we do. Yeah. Stop the dancing. It's a glass of water. The reason it's a glass of water and not wine is because once I start, I don't know where to stop. Last thing you oh, want to do is hand an obsessive compulsive a, a drink yeah. or dice or stims. Oh, it's yeah. Crazy, Michael. I don't have a problem. Franklin stim use. Back at Earhart's between the time you went off to the bathroom and you came back, did you do any stims? <laughs> well, the stims are perfectly legal, used by prescription in moderation. That's not what I asked you. Did you do any stims? All right, yeah. I mean, what of it? Steven. No, no, wait, 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 wait a minute now. You know, most days I'm on duty 36 hours at a stretch, sometimes longer, because we don't have the people or the resources or the money. No, I have to be alert and I have to be focused or people die. It's that simple. Look, I don't want to butt into your personal life. It's a little late for that now, isn't it? But I've checked your logs. You pull shifts you don't have to. You've been checking up on me, huh? Thought you were my friend. Huh? Damn it, Steven, I am your friend. And we wouldn't be having this conversation if I weren't. I was just concerned. I thought we could talk about it. All right, we talked about it, okay? Stop trying to put your problems on me. It's because you never met a bottle you didn't like. Wow. I'm sorry, I, that was out of line. Yeah, okay. That was harsh, though, from Franklin, wasn't it? Really harsh. 
And I don't have a big deal. I mean, sorry, it's not a big deal, said everyone Got your ever. message. Like, where's Nafar? Yeah. Sleeping. It was a long trip from Narn. Mm. We will meet with Citizen Jakar tomorrow morning. It's good to see you again. And you. I wondered what happened to you. Wait. Last I heard after we broke out of that Stribe ship and Oh got my back, god, it's this guy. Sent off to some hospital on Narn. Needed time to heal. Okay. I meant to return. That's awesome. Thank you for saving my life. Uh, then the war came. It's terrible. Millions yeah. dead. Tried to serve to help any way I could. Sometimes I do not know who I'm protecting him against. Outsiders or my own people. But because of him, I am here. Happy bird and, and now I can thank you. I owe you a debt. A debt I must repay as a matter of honor. I'm not entirely sure what my superiors back home would think if I suddenly began showing up places with a Narn bodyguard. They would say, here is a man who will live to be 150. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Computers finished processing their life. I love that we've got commander. that. That throwback. Their message? That's just Think brilliant. So. Stand by. Remember that episode? That weird alien species. It's a recorded message as we thought. The probe was sent to find other life forms and initiate contact. So far, so good. Oh, I need to blow my nose in a minute. Oh my god. It's a series of questions. Physics. Oh, what do you want? Mechanics. Molecular biology. Genetics. Apparently, it's some form of intelligence test to determine if we're sufficiently intelligent for contact. It says that if we don't provide all the correct answers within 24 hours, the probe will self-destruct with the force of 500,000 megatons. It's enough to vaporize the entire station. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? It looks like ball on tech. Scan of the probe. I mean, it must not be. Begin but... a countdown to a thermonuclear reaction just after we finish decoding the message. Sort of like a interstellar gardener plucking out all the weeds so just the flowers can grow. <laughs> Basically, yes. Well, let's just hope the high IQ boys back home give us all the right answers to this test. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to get hit with a five hundred thousand megaton weed whack. <laughs> Many of our people That's are ridiculous. Starving. starving because the roads have been mined. Centauri relief ships carrying food are shot down by the resistance before they can land. They are trying to buy loyalty with food, peace with crumbs from their table. What does it matter where the food comes from? It keeps our people alive. It matters only to you. You don't appreciate the damage you're causing our people back home by leading this resistance. Damage I'm causing? I didn't invade Narn! I didn't bomb our world with asteroids! Level our cities! I didn't- All right! Legitimate target. We are arranging for our own food drops. You cannot bring in as much as the Centauri. Not enough to do any good. Neither can they. What little they bring is a token with one purpose. To make our people fight over their scraps! You think they care what happens to us? This is about control. I think it's about pride. Your pride. You sit here in exile and dream of your return in triumph, of personally driving the Centauri from our world. But this is not the time for armed resistance, Jikar. Soon, yes, but not now. We must bide our time, recover from our wounds, and lull the Centauri into a sense of false security. <laughs> For the sake of everyone, Jakar, you must give up Babylon 5 and come home. Does it hurt here? Does it hurt here, right here? Does it hurt? How about... Doesn't understand a damn thing I'm saying. Where's the translator? It should be here. Look, they said that a half hour ago. Now I can't do a proper diagnosis if I can't communicate. 
They have a ruptured peritellum, too small to show up on the scanners. Now, I don't want to operate unless... It... Damn it. Now. Nightmare. Yes. A day in the stride. I was wondering if you've heard back from Earth on those medical questions. No, I'm sorry. I, uh... I haven't been able to check back. I've been a little busy around here. Doctor, if we don't get those answers on molecular biology, whatever you're doing down there won't matter because your patients won't live long enough to appreciate your assistance. All right, all right. All right, I'll, I'll check back as soon as I can, all right? Med lab out. Is this Franklin going to take more stimulus? The prepping for surgery will do an exploratory. Yes, doctor. Here we go again. Never mind. I don't want to go to Mimbar. Oh, of course you might want be the stronger to go to Everyone wants to go to Mimbar. It is the vacation spot of the season. Assuming you're part of the long robes and head bone set. Wando. Dear, it's a good career move for you. From time to time, you'll come back here, report to me. We will Things learn, are changing. do a little business together. And who will take care of things when I'm gone? I'm quite capable of taking care of myself. Vinny. Want to be protected? Well, I'm afraid it's not your decision. It's already done. You have been promoted. You will earn more money, receive more attention. Women may even come to find you attractive in time. <laughs> it's a great burden, but I think that you will adjust. Now, I must go. I'm late for my appointment. We can't Wonder, be losing beer. You will be alone. Ah, I have always been alone. I'm not liking the sound of that. A bear leaving. And what do we make of this? Londa being by himself. It looks Narn on the outside, but I hear it is Centauri on the inside. I'm a duly appointed liaison. Appointed by who? The Centauri? To be their pet, their messenger, their puppet? I just heard from Homeworld. My pouch brother has been arrested. I'm told he will be released when Jakar returns home. I'm sorry. I tried to warn you. You are a blood traitor, Nafar. The Centauri failed to break us with bombs and guns and ships, and now you come to break our soul. Go back to Narn, or we'll... He would strike against your own kind? Only if you consider someone cowardly enough to strike from behind one of his own kind. Enough! Have I taught you no better than this? Look at yourselves! We're at each other's throats! By Jaquan, I won't have this. Nafar. I won't allow the Centauri to use me to turn us against one another. If they want me to return home, if that is the price, then let's pay it and get this over with. I will return with you to Narn. Is this actually happening though? So, Jakar's leaving. V is leaving. How are we doing on those questions? Really? Five more to go. We just started transferring the bachelor on molecular biology. Corwin, check these figures again, make sure they came to the translator, okay? I don't want to get killed because of a typo. It'd be embarrassing. On it. <laughs> can we power up the weapon system gradually so the probe won't pick it up? We can try, but it may not matter. The probe's supposed to be fast enough to blow the instant we fire. Yeah, maybe. And maybe they're bluffing. If we don't get those answers in time, we may have to take that chance. Power up slowly. See, Captain, this is what the Transport Pilots Association yeah, everybody was on about. <sighs> They want to know when you're going to meet with them to finish the discussion it's about weapons. It's strategic genius. Called five times in the last hour. How long before that probe detonates? Six hours. Tell them we'll reconvene in seven hours. If that thing blows, at least it'll save me from one more annoying conversation. <laughs> Always finding the good in every situation, eh, Captain? Absolutely. Yeah. If I didn't, I might end up like you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Did anybody else hear that? Did you hear that? No, Commander. Good. <laughs> well, if we live through this, somebody's gonna find their automatic shower preferences reprogrammed for ice water. Oh God! Don't do it. That's what I mean. The moment he. The hands of Shaquan. Oh. What must happen will happen. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Garibaldi. Oh, Jakar, don't go, man. Good night. I love him so much. Just don't. There's no point. The moment you set foot 
on Narn, the Centauri will kill you. Because you're the last, what was it, the last um, remaining free person, Dakari. I'm transmitting it now. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, what do you mean, most of the data? Two of the questions in molecular biology are very advanced. There have only been a couple of papers published in this area, both by Dr. Franz Mueller. We haven't been able to get a hold of him. But you've got the rest of the data. No, 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 the rest don't matter unless you have all of them. You can't just give me some of them and say it's enough. Dr. Mueller is on vacation. Well, then you better damn well Doesn't find matter, the whole station's gonna blow up. you're gonna have a quarter million dead people on your conscience. There's no reason to speak to me in that fashion. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, we've got four hours to live and you're worried about being rude. No, 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 I don't want to hear it. Now, you get on that web, you use his emergency code and you fight him. Or I swear the last thing I'll do is send a report on your incompetence straight to Earth Dome. You'll be disbarred so fast you'll leave skid marks as they throw your ass out of the EMA. Now you get on it, and you get on it now! Apart from the fact that we're all gonna die in four hours, yeah. Not good. Doing great. Alright, you get him down to mid lab too, you get Estefez going on him now, go. I mean, it's obviously not gonna happen, because there's still... What? Two more seasons? And all this season? But I know what it's showing, it's showing this entire, yeah... Thing with the stims, addiction... And Citizen Jakar uh, has said the things you want to hear. Focused your anger on blood and revenge and retaliation. Which How is honor, maybe? Three minutes. But Standing by no, to transmit. Not really. Commander, the message we got from the probe. But also, what did it final. promise if we did give all the right answers? Advanced tech mainly. Medical information, cures for disease, new jump gate technology. But it never gave you the name of the race or where it's from. I assume we get that information once we pass this test. Two minutes. Okay, here we go. No, wait. There's something about this that has been bothering me ever since we made contact. We have been operating under the assumption that whoever sent the probe is deciding whether or not a sentient race is fit to survive based on what they know at the moment of contact. If they were feeling generous, they wouldn't be wiping out inferior races based Maybe on... Maybe they want to know the answers to benefit themselves. Like Captain, we're down to one minute. I don't see any other options here. What if it's a berserker? A probe sent out to find life forms advanced enough to pose a threat to the race that created it. It sends a list of questions backed by a threat. If it gets the right answers back, that proves a certain level of technological advancement. Then boom! You wipe out a potential enemy without leaving any trace of where you came from. Or it could be exactly what it said. Fifteen seconds. Captain, send or no send? No send. Off, right. Yeah, well, being right isn't enough. What about the next guy? Okay. Are there any secure bots in that area? Just one. 5,000 clicks. That's far enough. Relay those answers to the bot, move it toward the probe, and have it stand by to transmit. Probe is at 3,000 clicks. Transmit. Right. What's wrong? I mean, we survived. Right. Which means now I have to go back to that stupid transport association meeting. <laughs> uh, well. Really? Oh, man. If I live through this job without completely losing my mind, it will be a miracle of biblical proportions. Well, there goes my faith in the Almighty. <laughs> I love like moments like that though in this show, it's great. We cannot let you leave, Jakar. You are valued and you are needed here. This is foolishness. I'm doing this for your own good. We cannot let you go, Jakar. The only way out is through all of us. If I stay here, your families are in jeopardy. Is anything more important than their safety? Yes, their freedom. It's better to die in the cause of freedom than to live in comfort as a slave. We understand this and our families Wise understand words. this because you taught it to us. 
stay, Jakar, for us and for them. To leave now that I have decided to stay and join the others would be rude. And extremely uncomfortable. That is a katak. Once drawn, it cannot be sheathed until it draws blood. Again, you would raise arms against your own kind. Have I taught you nothing? I carry my sword in my hand. You carry yours in your heart and in your mind. As I said. That already tastes so in blood. We never get a break, do we? Now we went through that whole nonsense because some race wants to yank our chain, right? pass the test and die, fail the test and remain ignorant. I know it's a pain in the neck, but would you really want? Thank you. And I do have it covered. I do. I mean, I went through this whole nonsense with the probe and and about a half a dozen sick patients, and I I, I never touched the stuff once. So where's the uh, captain and Bonova? Heroes of the hour, huh? Don't oh ask. God! And that damn meeting. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Sheridan just wishes the whole station blew up at this point. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. He is actually leaving. Really? Oh, I'm not liking this. This path for Londo to go down alone. Uh, that's not going to turn out well. No beer, no kind of angel on the shoulder. He's gone. It's just Londo and his bad choices. There's nobody to stop him now. He's by himself. Whenever Londo made a choice, he had beer. Kind of say, well, think about this. If you do this, then blah, blah, blah. That's not there anymore. But he's actually gone. I'm so sad about that. Really becomes back, but that's it. Great episode, though. I love the stuff with Jakar, and yeah, brilliant.